Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're going to be looking at a, well, a mystery Mosin, and we'll just jump right into it. This is a pre-1928 Dragoon rifle that uh, is pretty standard for a Dragoon. You've got your standard front sight, cleaning rod, uh, definitely the old style stock with the screw in uh, sling slots your old style, typical Dragoon sight, and all your standard features that you would expect from a Dragoon with a hex receiver. Um, really nothing amazing there. Pretty beat up gun, definitely has seen some service. This one though is completely sanitized. There are absolutely no maker marks on it whatsoever. All that is left on the receiver as you can see, this has been completely ground off, which is not unusual. You do see that a lot of times, but all that's left is a serial number. And since it starts with an N prefix, makes me believe this was probably a Tula gun. And then this is stamped 762, 4762 by 54, but there is no by 54. So obviously whoever this was intended for knew this was gonna be the 762 of the uh, Russian rimmed caliber. Um, you've got your standard front sight. Um, but again, everything has been scrubbed off. Your bolt has even been scrubbed. You've got your serial number. But anywhere that might be a marking has been completely ground. There are no even factory marks left on the bolt and interestingly enough flip it over you've got your serial number again on the magazine floor plate up here where you would have some identifying marks that is gone as well that's been ground and then looks like it's been almost like a black enamel paint baked on over it or even a reblue of some sort um, the interesting thing also is a detailed disassembly of this gun pulling it out of the stock the tang markings are gone as well they have been taken off and if you look at the uh, butt plate here look at it in some light you can see that you have a serial number left and no other markings whatsoever. So again, whoever was sending this gun out really did not want it to be uh, identified or identifiable as having uh, its origin, although it's pretty obvious that it did come from uh, Soviet stocks. There is no import marking on the gun whatsoever. Other than the serial numbers that we've looked at, there is nothing. The gun is well used. It's got good rifling still in it. Mechanically, it's fine, but it has seen a lot of service and it is definitely a sanitized gun. Like I said, inside, all the markings are gone. Everything has been ground, um, even down to minor factory marks or anything like that, completely gone. Um, definitely be interested to know any theories that anyone might have on it. Um, it does have a couple of cartouches left. Unfortunately, they are not readable anymore. And they kind of look like standard Soviet ones, but they kind of don't. So I'm not really sure if that would be some other kind of marking. Uh, maybe, maybe they were marked for where they were going. That's just a hypothesis, a very doubtful one too. But it's definitely an interesting gun and one of those things that you just kind of come across sometimes and go, huh, that's a real mystery. And uh, so again, I'm just sharing it to get some input and some theories on what you guys might think. And if you've come across one of these or you own one, drop something in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Don't keep it hidden in your collection. Let everyone know what you know and maybe we can figure out some of the mysteries of Mosin and the Gantt rifles. As always, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll be looking at more interesting rifles, pistols, helmets, ordnance, you name it, in the coming days, weeks, and months. Thanks for watching.